Hey, it's Sofing Student here, and today I'm going to showcase a little program I created where we're able to input into a table view and then remove the components again. So, I just made a very simple setup where we just have a name, age, and number column. So, I can just add a name Dan and age 23 and number 111, for example. I could do Danny, a bit older, you have a different number. Let's just for the sake of it add a bunch of Dannys. I can then click off any of them and remove to remove them. So, very simple setup, input some data into my table view and remove it again. So let's first have a look at how it's set up inside scene builder. It's very simple, we have some text fields where we can input some text, I then have a button to submit, I have a button to remove and I have my table view, where important to set up the table view have an ID, and each of the columns have an ID as well. So this is the name column, given ID, which we're going to be using shortly when we set up how it actually works. Because when we take a look at the code, the simplest way I have found to work with tables is very simple to create an object. In this case, I created a custom object that, create, that contains my name, age, and number, just like the columns in my table. I then have my table defined the ID and defining that my table takes customers and as an input. We then define for each column that we're getting information from our customer object and my name is going to contain a string, my customer or my age is going to contain an integer, number contain an integer as well. And we then define inside initialize that our name column dot set value factory. So kind of defining how this cell is going to behave create a new property value and again defining it as the customer input, the string type and more specifically it is the name from our customer so this variable is going to be input into this cell. And by doing this we can just very simply add an object created a customer object containing our values and just gonna input it the correct way because it know how to do it. And our submit button then just very simply takes our or create an custom object and takes input from our um, name input which is the text field the age input text field number input text field takes all these values create a customer object and then I take all the current values inside my table put them into a observable list add the new customer so now we have all the old customer plus all the plus the new one and we just very simply take this new observable list customers with all the old and all the new ones and add them to our table view just very simply and when removing which is actually quite simple we just simply get an id so they all actually have an id which is the, like the number if we look at a list we have a number like the zero the first the second and so on so we just simply do table view get selection model so what we're clicking on and get select index so what we're clicking on and the specific index of the thing that's been clicked. And just very simply, you can just do table view, get items, that remove, and remove the one that's been clicked. So that's pretty much the setup. We have the table, the columns, the text input. We define the behavior of our cells. We can submit stuff and we can remove stuff. And let's just quickly have a look at the customer object, or customer class more specifically. It's actually a very simple standard setup. We have some variables, some attributes. We have a constructor taking all the attributes as inputs, and we have some getters and setters. In this case, we're just getting the values, but if we want to do something more, maybe be able to change some of the values or of a specific customer, we need some setters as well. So this is just a very simple setup following the object-oriented programming paradigm. But this was my quick solution to a table view setup where we can add people and remove them again. So if you enjoyed this quick little showcase, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.